But I do have one more trick. I always save the best for last. Tonight is no exception. Tonight, this last trick's gonna use only one playing card and these two little red lights. Now, these are not the same as the wonder light from the beginning of the show. These just clip onto a playing card and they're gonna make this next trick look a little bit cooler when it does this. Check it out. This is the anti-gravity card. It's probably the most popular kit they have here called the Levitator. This kit's awesome. You can fly the card across the floor, around the body. You can even fly it through a hoop. Now, the lighted card here, you know, you can take it, fly it from hand to hand as well. Now, the lighted card comes in the kit, but you don't need the lights. You can just take them off, do the tricks with or without them. And you can do this with any card you like, too. It doesn't have to be a playing card. It can be a baseball card, a driver's license, a business card, a credit card, my card, your card, this. Just the card. Oh, what do you guys think? You want to uh, see another trick? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's, uh, well, let's try the next one with a coin. If anyone has a coin, I could borrow. It could be a quarter, a nickel works. First one I see is the first one I'll use. Oh, we got a digger here. Maybe it's going to be the first one out. He is. He's got a one. Yeah, that'll work. A generous uh, one cent donation from my new friend there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now imagine just being able to go out, you know, borrow a coin like a penny here from anyone, anytime, any place. Being able to take someone's coin and just place it. Right into zero gravity. Boys and girls will watch as the gentleman's little penny hovers and floats over the center of the earth, mocking and defying all the laws of nature. Wow. Please hold the applause. You guys are embarrassing me now. Now you learn a lot of things. You learn how to move things across the table, float things out of your pockets. They even teach you how to float food off your dinner plate, straight into your face, which is as cool as it sounds. Any object, really, as long as it weighs less than like an empty soda can, you can float it in the air. But let's do one more. Let's do this final trick with a, a dollar bill. If anyone has a bill, I can borrow. It could be a one, a five. It's hilarious with a hundred. What do you yeah. guys got? Hey, that's all I'm about. All right, now, now the reason we borrow the bill, well, same reason I borrow the coin. If I were to use my own money, you guys might think it's some sort of trick or fake magic money. So my magic's always more impressive when you borrow the objects. Yeah. Plus, if you do these tricks for your friends, they ask you how they work. So tell them. Tell them you use some of this stuff right here, a little bit of the invisible magic dust. Everyone say, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Not really, but that's what you gotta tell your friends. Because remember, a good magician never reveals your secrets. Check it out, $10 bill. <laughs> we need more power. Thank you guys. That is it. <laughs>